It usually happens once a year on our show where we'll get an email from someone who randomly met an attractive person while at the airport. Oh, oh. yeah. You know, yeah. M- maybe they sat next to them on a flight mm-hmm. or they got tipsy at a bar together while waiting for their connection. There's a lot yeah. of drunks that yeah. call the show. That's true. <laughs> or that one time I met someone while we were both blowing into each other's flotation devices. Oh, oh you were wow. blowing into each other. Yeah. We were on a plane, though. So that was kind of the weird part. <laughs> I don't want to know what you think a flotation <laughs> no. device is. Anyway. We do have our first airport meetup of the year. Oh, okay. And it happened in a very strange way. You're going to hear how in your second date update (laughs) next. Brooke. Yeah. Thanks for getting off your phone Sorry. to talk to me during the radio <laughs> segment. Sorry, I didn't you know, know we were starting. Back when you were single, right yeah, now. here I am. I want to ask: When you were single, uh-huh. did you ever want to give up on finding love? I wasn't really. You didn't um, think you were going to find it anyway. I just, I don't know if that was my goal. Oh, I think what? that's actually good advice. <laughs> I mean, they say when you're not looking for love, it finds you, right? I really don't. Like, I, I found it, and I love him, and I definitely wanted to get married in my life. But, I but he was your cousin, so then yeah. you had to settle for the guy, <laughs> Michael. I get it. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that that was... I was in love with lots of different people, though, yeah. Oh. That checks. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. The reason I ask is because one of our listeners has been having kind of a tough time, not just finding the one, but mm-hmm. even just locking down a date. Oh, And so now he's reaching out to us for help. His name is Hunter. Hunter, have you considered giving up on love yet? (laughs) Hey, no, not not giving up. Good. Okay. Well, maybe after this, we'll push you to that point. But (laughs) first, let's talk about the woman that you recently met, I guess. What's her name? Well, I'm kind of nervous to say it. Why? Why? Is it inappropriate? (laughs) No, no, no. (laughs) Her name's a swear word. It's not inappropriate. I, well, I don't know if she found her name out there. Well, all right. Her name's Jamie. Okay, we're uh, going to call her. We have to know her you name, You jinxed man. it now. Do we beep it out? Or <laughs> There's I mean, so many of them. That's true. I Jamie is fine. a very common name. All right. Sorry, I got nervous for no reason. I'm sorry. I'm, this whole thing is nervous for me. That's okay, that's man. Okay, bro. That's right. we, get, we get it. You're on the radio. We're just trying to have a fun time with you. Like, tell us what makes you feel like kind of down about your dating life recently. I'm getting really frustrated. I, I've gone on a lot of dates, and a lot of them just keep bailing on me at mm. the last minute. Oh, oh no. Okay. Like, I'm talking a couple of times I've been at the restaurant or bar, drinking hand. Oh, uh, you're talking you know, actual uh, last minute. I thought you meant, like, day of. People are so flaky these days, so. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like a culture Honestly, in dating. It really, like, even in friendships, people are flaky. Yeah, no, you're right, Brooke. Yeah. Did you hear that, Hunter? Brooke says it's not you, it's everyone else in the world. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how everyone should live their life, right? Yeah. 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 It's not my fault. Yeah, there must no, be someone else to crazy. blame. I'm perfect, yeah. and there's so many flaws. Lot of humans out there. It's a lot easier way to live. Yeah. I'll use that line of my therapist. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. So tell us, where'd you meet Jamie? Well, I met her at the airport. Oh, interesting. Oh. How? Uh, so I um, I saw this lady. Was Jamie grabbed my bag off the luggage carousel, and oh. I had to literally chase her down like across the terminal. Oh. oh. Let me guess. It was a black bag. <laughs> yeah. I remember buying my first piece of luggage and going, wait a minute. Everyone has a black oh, piece of luggage. Man. Like, what's the luck that it's someone that's single and you're yeah. attractive and to? Attractive. Yeah. yeah. That's a good strategy, though. Just keep taking bags off of the luggage carousel until <laughs> a cute person walks up <laughs> to or you. Or keep checking bags in hopes people will steal it. Like, yeah. I'd like to check 10 bags She wasn't on my actually flight even flying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, did, wait, you, did you catch her? Yeah, I uh, I finally caught up to her, and I, I couldn't tell what she looked like until I until I did, you know, because oh. she was running away from me. And Uh-oh. So you Moment of truth. Oh. Okay. So she turns around. Yeah. And- did you scream? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're so pretty! Oh, my God, you're gorgeous! <laughs> oh, keep the bag! Oh, my God. I don't know. What happened? <laughs> well, I, I made a joke saying, uh, you know, I would have taken your bag, but I don't think I'd look as good in your clothes as you do. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That's pretty smooth. That's, that and it's funny. Really yeah. smooth. Obviously, she had a good response to that. Yeah. I mean, it's all downhill from there. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, that was a good moment. <laughs> That's when the scream <laughs> started happening. <laughs> no, she laughed. And um, and we just stood and, like, waited for our Ubers on the corner. We talked. And, and I took a risk and asked for her number. Oh, oh nice. nice. So you made friends real quick. So you guys, where'd you go for your date? I asked her to grab just a coffee. I wanted to keep it casual, you know. Okay. And, nice. uh, yeah, we were texting the entire week leading up to it. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was just saying, like, she was excited to meet me. And then, like, mm-hmm. clockwork, day of, 
she can't. No, she Aww. canceled on you? Yeah. You know, it's risky with coffee, though, because it's easy to cancel on coffee because yes, you're like, especially well, if it's well, early in the morning. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like what's That's 30 true. minutes? Yeah. It's true. Alexis, That's how many true. times have you done this to guys before yeah. canceled at the last I, second? I don't even say yes to coffee dates. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I can see Alexis canceling after she gets her drink. Yeah. I can see and her. And then be like, thanks, bye. I you're canceling before they even ask. <laughs> God, that was sucks. She, was she sorry? Yeah, did she give you an excuse? No, I I didn't even hear from her. And at, at this point, I, it's happened so many times. Like, I need to understand what's going on because this mm-hmm. can't just be a coincidence. I mean, I hear you on, like, canceling on coffee, but this has just yeah. happened so many times. Weird. It's weird you can get dates. You seem charming. Yeah. You're obviously attractive yeah. enough. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're not but even wh- catfishing people because yeah. you're meeting people in person. But why true, cancel true. every time? I think that there's other people that want this exact same answer. I want the answer. Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you? Well, I well, think you need to stop screaming at people, Jeff, and let's, that'll probably help. Let's call her there. Yeah, there, buddy, we're gonna huh? we're gonna call Jamie for yeah. you, and in a very even keel voice, I'm gonna ask her why she's not <laughs> going gonna, out with you. You're gonna be cool. I'm okay. gonna be super chill she's about it. She's gonna okay. answer, and Jeff is gonna. <laughs> All right, Hunter. Her, her situation could be different from from the other ones. I don't know, but I, I'd at least like to hear from her what happened. Right. Right. This is someone you met in person and actually had a connection with. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or we can call every girl that's canceled. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Really get to the bottom of it. 25 minute segment. Yeah, we may not have time for that. Or threaten to steal her luggage because now you know what it looks like. I don't know if threats are good. Yeah. But yeah. Well, okay. I, I got your back. We'll avoid the threats. We'll just we'll just stick with the questions and get your second date update (laughs) right after this. We just learned one of the best places to meet someone is at the airport. Specifically, the baggage claim area. Mm-hmm. You just Apparently. stand in front of the carousel, mm-hmm. wait for a really attractive guy or girl to walk up to a bag, and then run up and nab it right before they do, <laughs> oh. and say, "Oops, I thought that was mine." <laughs> now that we have our bags in common, maybe we should hook up. Silly me. It's pretty good. I mean, I mean yeah. honestly, that's almost how one of our listeners, Hunter, met Jamie the other day. She accidentally took his bag, thinking it was hers, so he had to go chase her down, and they ended up vibing at the airport but then she canceled the day of their coffee date which has oh, been man. happening to him over and over again yeah it's got to be so frustrating we agree that that's kind of become the new dating culture where people are just flaky now all the time right yeah. yeah in fact i'm kind of thinking of flaking on my lunch with brooke tomorrow oh, oh. unless she buys again and I then, al- I always uh, then i'll be buy. there i always buy then <laughs> maybe i'll come yeah. <laughs> maybe hunter how are you feeling uh, nervous, but excited to get an answer. Yeah, maybe get some truth out of this. Figure out if it's something you've been doing wrong, and you can fix it. I disagree. I think you're perfect, Hunter. Don't oh, listen to what my hosts say. There's nothing wrong with you. Oh. Well, you know, if if only I wasn't interested in women. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't think that's where I was going <laughs> yeah, with it, but... Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that, Hunter. Well, Jeffrey, you started this. Yeah. Took a turn. He may be free for lunch tomorrow, bro. Just that is true. Yeah. We'll see what happens with Brooke. <laughs> will, will you, actually, you, you actually blushed for a second. Will, will you buy? Are you going to pay, Hunter? Uh, sure. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. You got a backup. I got a now. solid plan B. Good. Take him, Hunter. Let's call your plan A, though, Jamie here. We'll see what she has to say. Let's do it. Hello? Hey, is this Jamie? Uh, yeah. Hey, Jamie. I know this is going to sound a little bit weird, but you're talking to a morning radio show right now. Hey, Jamie. Hi. hi. Um, hi. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why am I talking to a morning show right now? Oh, good question, Jamie. Mm-hmm. The answer to that is we're doing a segment called a second date update. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't think she knows what that is. I've gone on a lot of dates, though. Oh, Oh, you've been on a lot of dates. That's fine. You've been dating. No, well, we hear that you're a very attractive, fun lady. Socialite, even. Yeah. Maybe even an entrepreneur. Thank you. Flying a lot. Oh, well, yeah, I I travel a lot for work. I knew it. I'm sorry. I'm just... I don't know what this is about. Well, we (laughs) heard that information from one of our listeners named Hunter, who you met the other day at the airport. Ah, yeah. Are you... You remember Hunter? Because you didn't have a long interaction with him. Yeah, I grabbed his bag by accident, uh-huh. and then we exchanged bags. And that was kind of like funny, cute coincidence, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. What was your first impression <laughs> of Hunter? Um, he's like you know, just kind of normal guy, but he's he's cute. 
Yeah, marriage hey. material sort of thing. Oh, oh Jeffrey. Jeffrey. I mean, I don't know if I felt that right off the bat, but um, I think it was a little ramped up because okay. um, I had his bag. Yeah. Well, it's good. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, somewhere between nice and marriage material. That's a good, you know, happy medium in there. So it's a weird scale, dude. Yeah. Big scale. So somewhere. Scale. But the yeah. the weird part that we heard is that the two of you were supposed to go out to coffee, and then yeah, something happened, and you had to cancel. Yeah, it didn't uh, feel like maybe you were going to reschedule with him. Is that true? Uh, I don't think so. I think we kind of are a little different in how we approach things. So maybe it just wasn't like the best fit. How would you know that, though? How would you know that if you hadn't even hung out with them? Well, they texted for, well, text for a week, right? Yeah, we texted for a week beforehand. And two days before, he texted me and said, are we still on? I said, yeah, I'm excited to see you. And then after mm-hmm. that, like 24 hours before, he was like, hey, we're 24 hours out. I just want to make sure we're still on. I was like, oh. at that point, I was like, that's a little weird. I was like, yeah, we're still on. And yeah. then he sent me like text leading up to the next day. It was like, <sighs> hey, I'm excited to see. You. I just want to make sure we're still on. I'm oh. like, uh, oh. yeah, I, we're, oh. I'm like really busy with work and stuff. So, I get like, it now. Having oh. to, like respond to these texts like over and over again. Right, do you have one of those limited text plans where you can only text so <laughs> often? So it's ruined for you? No, oh, yeah. but I have one of those limited life plans where yeah. I don't have a lot of time to deal with like something really high maintenance right off the bat when I haven't even met you. Girls so how don't many, like that. It's called making yourself too available. How Just many clean. times did he text you asking if, if you were still on? Let me see. There was like, uh, yeah, it was like 10. Oh. Whoa. He was excited. Yeah, okay, on the bright then. side, it means he was really, really looking forward to seeing you again. Uh, I mean, that's great if like you've met somebody, but like I feel like the initial meeting should be really just kind of like short to the point and then casual. maybe after. Yeah, and then after, if it goes well, maybe then a little more text, but just I like mean, that was. Well. If the initial meeting went well, maybe the second meeting will go even better, which is going to happen in three, two, one, because he's oh. on the phone right now <laughs> and wants to talk to you. Are, Are you available oh. to talk to him? Okay. I, uh, okay. Are you excited Hi. to meet him? I mean, again. I guess. Hey, Hunter. This is awkward. <laughs> Hi. Look, I I um, gotta admit I'm, I'm a little embarrassed hearing it all aired out like that, but I I do want to I just want to give you some context. It's not so much a high maintenance thing. I just, I've been canceled on last minute a lot on dates by a lot of women. And it just, yeah, that, 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 I I wouldn't be putting that sort of information out there, Hunter. It doesn't sound great. (laughs) Do you do this with all those girls too? Yeah. I mean, this may be the reason, buddy. No, no, no. That's why I was doing it with Jamie. I wasn't doing this before, but after so many times, I, I, I guess it's affected me more than I thought. Oh, it's kind of scarred you. You didn't even yeah. realize it. Wow. I mean, do you see where he's coming from, Jamie? I mean, I do. But, like, when I don't know him at all, like, to come off like that, that's, like, my only reference point for who mm. this person is. It just seems like a little much. Mm. Yeah, I didn't mean to come off that way. I just, I was excited to go on a date with you, and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be another last-minute cancellation. Mm. And I get it. I mean, it's like, that's just what you deal with in this dating world. So, like, I, I've been canceled on two, and it sucks, but I don't think that I would, like... Oh, so you know the feeling that he has. Yeah, I definitely know the same thing, but it's I wouldn't just then send 10 texts to somebody making sure they weren't canceling. Yeah. Yeah. I find a middle ground. You know, it's a middle ground. <laughs> but, but it sounds like, Hunter, you're hearing her, right? Like, you're hearing what she's saying. I do hear what she's saying, and I... I've heard this segment before. I, I I know normally we ask if there's another date opportunity. I mean, Jamie, would you be interested? I, I promise I won't text you. <laughs> wow. Oh, That's my good. God. That Get breath it. was not good. Yeah, Jamie, I think he sounds sweet. You know, he's a little jaded, a little hurt yeah. from the dating scene. but yeah. And, Jamie, look, I'll, I'll text you the proper amount this time around. I mean, I'll, I'll go three to six, two to four. <laughs> yeah, no, this is – look. Let's What's get down. Let's get this down in writing. How many texts per day exactly are we going to be sending back and forth? It feels like we're at I an mean, auction right now. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants three texts? Who wants three texts? What a four text? I got here is seven texts. Four texts text text. a day. <laughs> Sold. Yeah, and here's the deal. Like, if I commit to something, I will show up. 
So. Well, actually, you didn't show up when you committed to the last date with oh, him. So that's a point. We, well, uh-huh. I mean, she was going to until all the texts came in. Mm-hmm. But she didn't follow <laughs> through with her commitment. Yeah, <laughs> that's not following okay. through. But look, Jamie, I'm going to forgive you for that. <laughs> in fact, uh, that's what she's looking for. Yeah. 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 Not only do I forgive you, I'm going to pay for your next date. <laughs> hey. As long as it's with Hunter. <laughs> Three huh. texts a day. Max one text minimum. We're negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> what is this a contract? It's making it I sound mean, really unattractive. But it should yeah, be a casual I, vibe. I, it shouldn't be written uh-huh. on paper. I do think you should give him another chance. Yeah, Jamie, give me another chance. I want to communicate with you the proper amount. The proper. I mean, the proper amount. That sounds so like romantic. You're right. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Why not? All right. Okay. Okay. We got you a day, Hunter. Look at that. I love it. We're doing two texts. We're doing three texts. Where are we agreeing on? Let them them text each other. Jamie said two. Yeah. Okay. Lock it in. Two texts a day or you guys are done. (laughs) Yeah. He's going to be like, oh, no, I forgot to ask directions to the restaurant. (laughs) (laughs) Too late. I thought I'd hit my limit. (laughs)